Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Joe Fame coming at you with another video. We're going to talk about the Denon Prime 4, which is getting really close to getting into people's hands. So we're going to get into why Denon Prime 4 is going to have either issues when it first comes out or it's going to be basically fine. So we're going to discuss why it's going to be good or why it's not going to be good right after this intro. So we're going to get right into the Denon Prime 4. As you know, AGI Pro DJs just received their first batch of the Prime 4s ready to ship to their first customers that pre-ordered. So those lucky people are going to get their hands on it first. So hopefully all the other manufacturers from Sweetwater, American Music Supply, Guitar Center, maybe I do now, whoever else has the products coming, hopefully they get them soon and hopefully we get ours in our hands by maybe next week or the week after so i'm hoping we get our hands on it soon i'm praying that maybe i can get in the first batch i may not be able to but i'm praying i do but here's what a lot of people are saying that people are now canceling their pre-orders or they want to wait until the next batch comes out because it's true when you get new technology sometimes you have that issues but a lot of people are comparing their issues to other electronics that doesn't relate so a lot of people are like oh it's gonna be like the samsung fold that you know it's this big hype and it had all those problems when they gave it to all those people as the handout first of all <laughs> this is not a phone it's a dj controller two this is not a brand new concept see the four channel standalone mixer i mean pioneer had the xdj arcs 2 which is a two channel still standalone which is a smaller screen so the production already has already been kind of established Here's why I also think that there's really not going to be much of an issue once we get the Denon Prime 4 in our hands because Denon DJ is part of In Music Brand. In Music Brand also falls underneath the different characters of other products that they sell, such as Akai. Now here's the thing, especially with the Akai. They came out with the Akai MPC Live and the MPC X. And if you could tell from the MPCX, a lot of those features on the MPCX is what they use for the Denon Prime DJ. The same 10 inch screen display with the flip up where you can adjust it. If you look exactly at the Denon Prime, this is laid out exactly the same as the MPCX. And you can tell a lot of those mechanics that from this side, from all the touchscreen features on it to navigating, what ways and adjustments are all from the MPCX. I, well, you could say it's kind of close to it. Basically, it's the same type of mechanics that I believe they're using for the Denon Prime 4. So in that aspect, the MPCX when it first came out, there was no issues when it came to the touchscreen or any of those features on a 10 inch screen. They had some issues with like a clip launch, I think like a latency issue or something like that that was very minor and they fixed right away. Like supposedly maybe it lasted a month or so and then you know a new firmware update came out and then boom it fixed that little bug that they had. But that's why I think Denon Prime was pushing back on the delays so we wouldn't get those type of little errors. But like any other new technology in the world, you're going to get some type of error. So either some type of latency or some type of fix that they can always fix in firmware updates. Especially since they just made a brand new firmware update that's probably going to stop it. But then once Serato comes out with their new version, I think a lot of those are going to correct it. And then in the future, they're also going to implement, you know, different horizontal waveforms and do another firmware update for all that as well so they're gonna fix those little bugs but when you get it when we get it in her hands firsthand i think there's not gonna be really an issue it's gonna turn on it's gonna have it we're gonna have all those features that we need certain things we may not know we may have to dive in a little bit deeper through the settings i saw some other people trying to do a review on it and they weren't diving into the settings it's like oh this doesn't work and then uh you know <laughs> they found out oh it does we just have to go deeper into the setting so there's certain things that we have to really dissect of the product to see how it really plays out and how it really works and that's what i'm going to do as soon as i get my hands on it we're going to do multiple parts from the unboxing to setting it up to explain and how it works in a real world environment that could tell the difference between all these issues that it may happen or can occur so people are worried about if it's going to happen you know pushing off on it it's true i mean i know a lot of friends though that have bought dj equipment when it first came out and it had nothing but issues i had a buddy who bought the rollins the 808s when they first came out that dj controller had nothing but issues they've returned it like seven times 
and they just gave up on it. When they got the Rain 12, they had like a little minor issue on it. So when they sent back that Rain, they fixed it in like a split second. They got it back like two days later or something like that. So that wasn't even like a dramatic issue with that. So there are certain times you can get those duds and those lemons. That's like anything. So it is possible that when we do get this product, there can be issues that we all may relate to. But since I think they use a lot of mechanics on the MPC-X, that I feel like it's gonna entwine pretty good and it's gonna be pretty responsive. So it really won't have those issues, especially since they learn those issues on the MPCX, the way with the touch screen, the functionalities, and everything on that screen. That same type of features I think are gonna work perfectly fine on the controller. Well, the only thing I am worried about is when they include these new streaming services, is how that may react. I feel like these streaming services, and when you connect to a Wi Fi or when you connect to the internet, just like when you do at home, it can cause things to crash, it can make things run slower because it takes up more GPU. Since this thing is basically a computer, it's possible that they, it can run slower if you connect it to the internet and run you know, those streaming services, which I'm a little bit more concerned about. But what I am more concerned about is people like, you know, the hard drive features to stand alone, but you still need your computer. You always need a computer because you still need to do your updates. You still need to transfer your music. You still need all that. So there's still room that's, they got a long ways to fix and everything. I mean, it's not a true, true standalone, but you can do a lot of those features. Now with the streaming services, it does help. My main issue is when I do these events, especially school dances, I get bamboozled with requests, especially from these new songs that I never heard of because these kids, I don't know where they find their music, but they always find these artists that are just deep, deep into categories and they request for these songs and sometimes it's hard to find or hard to get them, especially if they're dirty, try to get them clean. So now if you ever late on a streaming service, uh, which I never do on like on Spotify because they, they would just have like a dirty version. So I'd have to go through my mp3 dj pool that i have i use bpm supreme i use a couple other ones and i see which ones they have and sometimes they don't even have clean versions of the songs as well either so it makes it hard to get songs requests so i think that's going to be the biggest issue for me but what i'm going to have to do is i'm just going to have to get the rca decoder the uh 3.5 plug it into my phone or tablet and then just play songs when i need it when i can't download them off the spot but that's why you know digging through my craze and try to always consistent on my library is going to be a big issue another one big issue i'm having right now is with the engine prime 4 the the software itself definitely needs a lot of fixing it needs to be fixed a lot there's a lot of things wrong with it i tried transferring everything over from serato there and for some reason one of my crates none of the music shows <laughs> it shows the crate and it supports it but nothing's there so i'm like maybe something happened so i go to my serato that folder is there perfectly fine no issues so that's the only thing I'm really kind of iffy about is how it's going to be getting my songs into the hard drive. If it's going to get all my folders properly in there, if it's going to get all my music in there properly. That's my biggest concern is how that's going to work since the Engine Prime software itself is not that great. It's really kind of really not that great at all. It takes forever to analyze tracks. It takes forever to move from one to the other. So Serato, it still takes a long process, but I can do it quick and I can even do it quick in Rekordbox. So engine prime the whole software itself is what i say is going to cause the prime 4 to have the most issues probably more than anything uh and even with the sc 5000 series i think that's going to control more issues too is with that engine prime software and the laptop alone needs to be fixed be, be done now that this product's coming out they should really focus on that software to fix things up and i think that's what they need to do to make you know the Denar Prime series not have so many issues. So personally, when we get in our hand, yeah, I think it's gonna be duds. I think some people may complain because people they want everything to be perfect, 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 perfect. But there's sometimes no such thing as being perfect. We all have flaws, just like technology has flaws. So it happens. But I think in the long run, it's gonna be good, especially since they're taking some of those uh, aesthetics and some of those fundamentals of what they build with the MPCX and the Kai, I think that is what's gonna help Prime Series be pretty responsive once it comes out. So what do you guys do? Do you think it's gonna totally fail? Do you think it's gonna be horrible? I wanna know what you guys think. Will it be bad? Will it be good? Are you pre-ordering? Did you cancel your pre-order? Can you wait an extra week or two? I'm glad that they're fixing out all the bugs now. Um, you know those firmware updates and pushed it back a little bit just to make sure it's on point once it comes out So I'm happy with that. I'm just you know, it's a Denon product. So we're gonna see I grew up, you know With a lot of Denon products. 
I went up besides using turntables. I first started using it then on products when I got into CDs in the mobile DJ world. Those were my first go-to. That was like the highlight of equipment to use when I first went into that. So we're gonna see how it turns out in the long run. And I'll just fingers crossed and I'm hoping it comes out good. So once again, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you like, what you don't like, please. That'd be a big help. Um, <laughs> that's one big thing. I always wanna make my videos better. What don't you like about my videos? Please just let me know in the comments. And like I said, I'm gonna do a lot of videos once I get this done on Prime 4. So hope to see you guys then in the next video and I'll see you guys later. Peace.